Welcome to Florida State University. Today we're going to do a walking tour of the campus. We're just going to basically walk the majority of the campus, just showing you the different buildings and what the school looks like. And we'll also check out a little bit of dining and one of, and one of the model dorms for a freshman house. This is one of the oldest buildings on the campus. This was here when the university first opened up. So we're going to start right here. The Westcott building. fountain is famous for when you are 21 years, when you turn 21 years old, your friends throw you in the fountain. So FSU obviously is in Tallahassee, Florida, and if you turn around from this entrance, that's downtown Tallahassee, the uh, city hall, is that tall building on the right. All right, now we'll begin. The Diffenbaugh building. Studio Theater. Dodd Hall. It's Gerard Hall. And this is Gilchrist Hall. And this is for honor students. There's a sweet shop and there's some more housing back there.
almost all of the housing on campus is for freshmen, or at least 95%. Most of the dorms are, uh, there's two bed, two people share a bedroom on one side of the bath and on the other side of the bathroom, there's two more people sharing a bedroom. So two bedrooms, four people, one bath. There are a few apartment style dorms, but not that many. And after your freshman year, you will more than likely live off campus in an apartment. It's a nice open area. And we'll go check out one of the dorm rooms. It's actually the model, so it's showing half of of uh, what a typical dorm would look like. And then we'll also walk through the uh, dining hall. Okay, we're gonna go inside and tour one of the dorm rooms. It's like the courtyard area. And here's the entrance. If you have an emergency, all you have to do is press that button. Supposedly somebody will be right on the, there to talk to you and you can have somebody here within 60 seconds. And each one of these dorms has an RA on duty and they're available 24 hours a day if you need them. Okay, this is one of the dining halls where it's kind of buffet style. Depending on your meal plan, uh, you can either swipe or you can get unlimited swipes. You just kind of help yourself or they'll get some food for you. Good morning. How y'all doing? Yep. Enjoy your time. Thank you.
all the drinks. Plenty of seating. And that takes care of that. Okay, this is the Johnson building. And this is where there's a lot of uh, studying. Here, I'll show you this. Tutoring, uh, workshops, computer labs. So I spend a lot of time in here in between classes. Like it's about one, two, three, four, five floors. Okay, we just came out of that building. And that's these buildings are honors studies. Here's that grassy area. You can hang out, throw the frisbee or whatever. I did want to show you this fountain, which is actually a pool. And you can actually go swimming in there. Most of the buildings are brick. This is Shores. School of Information and Innovation Hub. Again, more freshman housing. And right across the street from the housing, there's a parking garage. There are six parking garages on the campus. And parking is free for all students. Okay, the Health and Wellness Center is down here. Any medical needs uh, that you might have, the 
they'll take care of you in there. And then right across on the other side is the student services building. This path is known as the Legacy Walk. Kind of connects the two sides of the campus. So if uh, you ever get lost, or you're new here and you're not sure where you're at, if you find the Legacy Path, pretty much leads to everything. It's a large campus, but it's kind of compact. You can pretty much get from any one point to another in about 20 minutes walking. And all of your classes should take no more than 15 minutes to get to. Probably an average of about 10 minutes. Of course, there's also fraternities here, so once you uh, finish your freshman year, if you wanted to join a fraternity, then you could also live there. Okay, this is the HCB classroom building. That's just what it is. Just full of classes. Mostly uh, first and second year classes, all the requirements you have to take. Most of them will be in there, but all kinds of other classes too, from what I'm told. Yeah, that building is the student union. So down here on the first floor, there's going to be a lot of uh, people just kind of hanging out, <clears throat> studying. You don't have to be quiet.
There's food options. It's got a little store here. Trading post. Something important we want to show you is the bookstore. Because nowadays you don't have as many books as you used to have, <clears throat> but they have lots of apparel. And of course the books you do need they'll have in there. It's more like a clothing store than a bookstore nowadays. So we have pizza, Polo Tropical. Panera Bread. One of my favorites, Panda Express. On top of what you normally spend. And of course, Starbucks. There are six Starbucks on the campus. And there are other services upstairs. There's three floors. There's a map of the third floor. Okay. Oh, and there's the downstairs also. We're on the ground floor, but that's actually the first floor. Okay, we just came out of the Student Services Center there. Again, here's the HCB classroom building. Now on this little walkway on every Wednesday, they have a, like a market out here <clears throat> where vendors come out and sell their wares. We're here on a Thursday, and there's somebody out here selling posters. But uh, on Wednesdays, you'll find uh, all kinds of other stuff. Supposedly, there's as many as 100 vendors here. Okay, we came from that direction a little further down the path. There's a Rogers building for statistics. Another parking garage.
Okay, Fisher Lecture Hall. Hoffman, I'm not sure what's in there. Former president of the university. Dittmer, chemistry and biochemistry. There's another Starbucks back there. chemistry building. This building is six floors. And there are only three classrooms in the entire building. It's mostly used for research. So if you're working on projects, uh, experiments, et cetera, et cetera, that, that's where you'll come. And the three classrooms are basically lecture halls. Tennis. The tennis stadium is right next to the chemistry building. This is the front of the tennis center. Track and field is back there, soccer, softball. If you don't know, Florida State has a great softball team. Volleyball. This is the gym, Tully Gym. And volleyball is inside the gym. They have basketball courts. On the third floor, they actually have a track. That's it right there. Kind of jets out a little bit, but it's an indoor track. Okay, that's Dick Hauser Stadium. 
That is where the baseball team plays. At the time of this recording, the baseball team had only had one losing season in their history, and that was this past year. And behind that what up, guys? is Doe Campbell Stadium. That's where the football team plays. Tall uh, building at Stoke Campbell Stadium. Okay, this is rather interesting. They actually have a circus on the campus. It's one of the main tents. They don't actually have any circus classes or clown classes or anything like that. I don't know, to be honest with you, who performs here, but they do have circuses held here periodically. And of course the students can come and see it for free. Okay, this is the facade for the stadium, football stadium. It's actually a building going all the way up and down the front, which is supposed to be the second longest brick building in the world behind the Great Wall of China. And there are classrooms in here and offices. And the visitor center is in here. And this is one of the gates to get in to the stadium. College of Motion Picture Arts, Human Resources, etc. Financial Aid. One of the buildings that we walked by, I probably wasn't sure what it was, but it was uh, one of the larger buildings. It's the College of Business. And they have, I believe, over 200 degrees that they offer. So we probably missed quite a few, uh, but we tried to show as much as we could while we were doing the tour. Also, the School of Engineering is off campus. Uh, Florida A&M also has a campus here in Tallahassee, only a few miles from here. And they have combined with FSU for their engineering program. So whether you're an FSU student or an F or Florida A&M student, you will go to the same engineering classes. It's kind of a shared program 
and we'll have another video showing that campus, just the engineering campus only, which it's about two or three miles from here, I believe. One more shot at the stadium here. Okay, this is the sixth floor of the visitor center. This is the Champions Club, so we just wanted to show you this real quick. about the only way they will let you see the inside of the stadium there's no access it's not part of the tour but if you come to the Champions Club you can just walk out that door we just went out and see the inside of the stadium another view from the uh, sixth floor of the stadium that's downtown Tallahassee in the background and Florida State in the foreground here's a bus stop so you can actually take a bus to get to the stadium there's the map Hey, this is where we're going to end the tour at the visitor center. The Champions Club is also inside here. And if you do come to FSU to do a tour of the school, this is where the tour starts. There's the visitor center parking lot. And your tour will start right inside those doors in the visitor center. So we kind of went backwards, but they'll finish the tour at the fountain. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out our other videos. Uh, we have more college campus tours uh, from all over the state of Florida. And like I said, check out the uh, engineering tour if you're uh, coming to FSU and want to be in the engineering program. You'll go here for your first two years and then you'll go over there for the two level classroom year. You should still live on campus or off campus. So we hope you enjoyed the tour and watch our other videos. Thank you for watching.